You'll absolutely love this one. Celebrities in the US are heavily involved in politics, especially during election seasons. Campaigns often rely on their star power to boost visibility, rally support, and sway public opinion. From endorsements to public appearances, these high-profile figures play a crucial role in shaping political discourse and engaging voters, but Robert De Niro took it too far as the Biden campaign sent him outside the New York courthouse to give a speech as Trump was attending his trial. The Sopranos actress Drea De Matteo didn't like that and criticized him in Hollywood as a whole for such behavior, but before I delve deeper into it, watch the clip. All right. Is there a quiet Trump voter out there in Hollywood? Yes, there are a lot of quiet Trump supporters. There are a lot of Kennedy supporters. And um, wow, it's I wonder how much these actors got paid to endorse Biden at this point. I'm curious because that seems like I mean, I wonder if De Niro got paid a locations fee because he had to travel <laughs> to the courtroom. Is that how it that. works? I am Do you guys get paid? I mean, can you just like maybe not give them cash like Bob Menendez or slip him a gold bar? But can you just kind of make it like a silent deal like, oh, we'll give you this next role or, you know, we'll get you a book deal. Is it something like that or an appearance fee? I don't know. I mean, I don't really uh, maneuver inside that industry. I never have. That's absolutely correct. The support political candidates get in the form of endorsements and participation in fundraisers is not always based on ideological reasons, because sometimes it comes as a result of receiving financial or professional incentives, blurring the lines between genuine advocacy and strategic career advancement. You see, political campaigns pay celebrities for appearances, speeches, or performances at rallies and fundraising events. While not all actors accept direct payments, the indirect benefits of increased exposure and subsequent job offers contribute to a financially motivated relationship between their political endorsements and their careers. By the way, do subscribe for more discussions like this. Actors who vocalize support for a party also find themselves in the spotlight, receiving enhanced media coverage that can translate into a broader public profile. This increased visibility can lead to more significant roles, higher billing, and even awards season buzz, all of which are beneficial for an actor's career. For instance, Jay-Z and Beyonce have hosted fundraisers and performed at campaign events, most notably for Barack Obama in 2012 and Hillary Clinton in 2017. The power couple had managed to raise a reported $4 million during a fundraising event hosted by them for the Obama re-election campaign. Such activities reinforce their brand identities as influential culture leaders and maintain their stature in both the entertainment and political spheres. But Drea wasn't done here and continued ripping Hollywood apart. Watch the next clip for yourself. All right, so Drea, oh, does, yeah. how, how does this affect the vote? Does Hollywood help or hurt Joe Biden? Man, I, I mean, I think if, if America wants to listen to a bunch of super rich celebrities that are not affected by not being able to buy food for their families, gas, um, all, all of the, the trouble that this country has gotten in by putting America last, I, I, I don't understand how we just listen to celebrities that are completely tone deaf. I challenge every tried and true punk rock liberal hippie to stand up and say, this is BS. Celebrities live vastly different lives from the average person with resources and connections that most people could only dream of. As a result, their endorsements come from a place of personal interest or public image management rather than a deep understanding or alignment with the everyday struggles faced by their audience. These people essentially exist in echo chambers where their political views are constantly affirmed rather than challenged, which can lead to a skewed perception of political realities. Their support for a candidate might be well-intentioned but not fully informed by the complex policy details that affect the daily lives of ordinary citizens. This disconnect makes it difficult for their endorsements to truly resonate with the practical needs of the average voter. Additionally, the influence of celebrity endorsements on public opinion can lead to an oversimplification of critical issues. Politics is complex, often requiring nuanced understanding and critical thought, which can be overshadowed by the glamour and oversimplified narratives presented by celebrities. This can lead to voters making decisions based on popularity rather than policy efficiency. What makes it worse is that the woke culture that dominates Hollywood essentially bullies people into conforming with their ideology, and Drea talks about this extensively in the next clip. Look, you're saying that a lot of people in Hollywood are afraid to speak out even though they really oppose Biden's far-left agenda. Let me ask you, how much um, real support does the far-left have in Hollywood? 
Well, I, I mean, I think the far left own Hollywood. I think we all know that. I mean, all we have to do is follow the money and all of that sort of stuff. But I, I don't know very many people in the industry. I do know that people are tired of it. And there are very few people that are willing to speak out. Um, they probably will vote Republican. And that's, uh, you know, people who would never normally, but no one, you know, people are afraid. This is not, doesn't feel like a democracy anymore. It feels like we're getting farther and farther away from um, it just feels like we're dealing with a lot of unelected officials making decisions at this point. With how disastrous the Biden presidency has been, there is a noticeable shift in how celebrities are engaging with politics. We're really seeing the impact of that shift as more and more seem to be holding back on voicing their political opinions or showing support for the left. The polarized nature of current political environments means that any statement a celebrity makes can lead to a significant public and media backlash not just from opposing political camps, but also from within their own fan bases, the fear of alienating a portion of their audience or facing harsh criticism from the press, and on social media platforms is deterring celebrities from making their political stances known. That's why we've seen people like Dwayne The Rock Johnson refusing to endorse any candidate for the 2024 election, even though he publicly endorsed Biden for the 2020 elections. As a result, while many celebrities still engage with political issues, there is a noticeable trend toward more measured, strategic, and sometimes quieter involvement in political matters reflecting a broader hesitancy to navigate the unpredictable consequences of public political engagement in today's charged atmosphere. I think that a lot of people have been so focused on these social issues um, these days, and the social issues are what's tearing everybody apart. That's true. And I think we need to be focused on the global issue and what is really going on behind the facade. And I don't think a lot of my friends recognize that yet. Okay. But I think that there has to be more awareness. I mean, I, the man needs to take a rest. They need to stop using him as the, the the poster child for for their agenda. He's not he's not here. My mom has the same. She has the same. It's like putting my mother out there. She has dementia. Drea raises an important point here. When figures like De Niro use their platforms to engage in name calling or mocking political figures, in this case Trump, they don't just voice own opinion. They actively spread wider divisiveness. Like him or hate him, no one can deny that De Niro wields significant influence, and when he uses this influence to publicly mock Trump, it polarizes public opinion even further. His statements are often picked up by media outlets and spread across social media, reaching millions and thus polarizing the public. It's exactly this kind of behavior that feeds into the sharp divide slicing through our society today. Policy identity is becoming more than just about who you vote for. It's shaping who we associate with, how we talk, and even where we get our news. Celebrity statements, especially those charged as De Niro's, tend to push the narrative into a stark black and white. There's little room left for the grays. This binary framing where one side is cast as right and the other is utterly wrong turns what could be productive discussion into flat-out battles. It's like we're all set up on chessboards, ready to clash rather than converse. And while it's catchy, it's hardly constructive. Conversations devolve into confrontations, and what could be opportunities for understanding become yet another line in the sand. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think celebrities and public figures have an effect on how people vote? Let's get the conversation rolling in the comments down below.